If you're into podcasts, you should check out our podcast, Criminally Listed Presents Into the Killing. It's about cold cases that were eventually solved. New episodes are released every other week. It's available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and anywhere you find your favorite podcasts. Number 3. The TMRC Ground Shark As the name suggests, the Timor Ground Shark is found in the Timor Sea, which is part of the Indian Ocean. It's just north of Australia. The first recorded sighting of the shark is by Willie Lay, who wrote about it in his book, The Longfish and the Unicorn, which was published in 1941. The Timor Ground Shark looks very similar to a great white shark. However, a great white shark is about 14 to 16 feet long, and the Timor Ground Shark is much longer at 18 to 25 feet long. Also, unlike the great white shark, and other sharks for that matter, the Timor Sea Ground Shark does not have a dorsal fin. Sharks have a dorsal fin to help them remain stable while they swim and change direction. This has led people to believe that if the Timor Sea Ground Shark exists, it likely doesn't swim much and stays at the bottom of the sea. The Timor Sea Ground Shark supposedly doesn't have a very picky appetite. Since it stays at the bottom of the sea, it doesn't have a dorsal fin, it most likely lays away for prey to come to it. It will basically eat anything that comes its way, whether it's fish or human. The Timor Sea Ground Shark also has many similar characteristics to carpet sharks. Carpet sharks are bottom dwellers and eat whatever comes their way. However, carpet sharks have dorsal fins and are only about 10 feet in length, so they are considerably shorter than the Timor ground shark. Some have theorized that this shark is a very long Wabagon shark, which is a carpet shark from the Australian Indonesian family of sharks. But since there have been so few settings of the Timor ground shark, no one knows for sure what it is. Number 2. The Black Demon Shark Let's swim over to a different corner of the world, Mexico's Sea of Cortez, which is also known as the Gulf of California. It's home to the mysterious, anonymously named Black Demon Shark. In Spanish, it's known as El Dominio Negro. It was allegedly first spotted in 2008. As the name suggests, the Black Demon Shark is black. Estimates have put it to 20 to 60 feet long, and it weighs somewhere between 50,000 and 100,000 pounds. For some reference, large gray-white sharks are 20 feet long and can weigh about 4,000 pounds. The black demon shark's tail is reportedly so long that it creates waves. Many people, mostly fishermen, have stories about encountering the shark. The black demon shark has allegedly knocked boats over, eaten a group of fish in one fell swoop, and even attacked whales. While many have claimed to have seen the shark and even shared stories of their experiences, there isn't any photographic or video evidence to support their claims. Many believe that when people see what they think is the black demon shark, they are actually seeing another very large fish. The Sea of Cortez has a lot of different sharks. There are more than 170 species that call the sea home. One theory is that people are seeing a hypermelanistic great white shark. A hypermelanistic great white shark has darker skin, which would explain the color of the demon shark. Other people think it might be a whale shark, which can be as long as 60 feet. So the longest fish on earth, and they do fall into the length range people have reported about the black demon shark. However, whale sharks are non-predatory. They only eat really small fish and krill. So it's doubtful that they would have attacked whales. People have also argued that the black demon shark is really a manta ray. Manta rays can be 23 feet across and the top of their bodies are black. The problem is, is that they are wide and not long. They also don't have a large tail that can make waves. One last fish that some people believe it could be is the prehistoric megalodon. But this is very unlikely because it's believed that megalodons went extinct two and a half million years ago. Regardless of what it is, the fish is terrifying fishermen in Mexico and wreaking havoc in the Sea of Cortez. Number 1. The Lusca 
The next shark monster, the Lusca, is found in the Caribbean, around the Bahamas, Florida, and Belize. This species is certainly the most terrifying on our list. It's been described in several ways. Some people say it's a combination of a shark and an octopus. Others say it's half squid and half eel. Some say it's a dragon. Or it's some sort of monster with many heads. People have also said it's an evil spirit. According to most descriptions, it has sharp teeth and tentacles with suckers. Velasca has been described as being able to change color to camouflage itself. Estimates put it at around 75 feet up to 250 feet in length. For some perspective, the blue whale is the largest animal on earth and they are 100 to 110 feet long. Velasca is often found around blue holes in the Bahamas, specifically the islands of Andros and Exuma. Blue holes are underwater cave systems and they are open at the surface of the water. They have tidal currents and they can pull people in. There are several notable encounters with the Lusca. One man claims to have been swimming close to a blue hole and he was grabbed and pulled under. Luckily he lived to tell the tale but said he had sucker marks on his thigh and that's where he felt he was being pulled. An underwater photographer claimed he was attacked by a creature with tentacles that was around 50 feet long. He survived the attack, but apparently the creature stole his camera. A story from some divers truly illustrates the Lusca's strength. These divers were trying to catch the Lusca with their traps. Instead, their boat was taken for a ride when something got a hold of one of the traps and dragged the ship. Sadly, many swimmers and cave divers have ventured too close to the blue holes and were never seen or heard from again. Many people believe that they were victims of the Lusca. There are also several tales about the Lusca's origins. Some say it was a woman who drowned and turned into this horrible creature. Other stories say it came from an underwater society. Another legend claims that the Lusca is the spirit of a human sacrifice. Have said that the Lusca is an evil spirit and it looks like the worst fear of the person being attacked. Amazingly, there may even be evidence of the Lusca. This includes a glob of mass that washed up on the shore in St. Augustine, Florida in 1896. Many people thought that this was a dead Lusca, or at least part of it. Another event occurred in January 2011 when the head of a giant octopus washed up on the Grand Bahama Island in the Bahamas. The octopus had a giant head, but since the head had only washed up, the fishermen surmised that the rest of the body was likely 20 to 30 feet long. Ultimately, some wonder if the tales of the Lusca's size are completely true, and if they are, are the descriptions of it appearing like an octopus accurate? Because no octopus can grow to the size described. However, the Lusca may be a yet unidentified or undiscovered, or undiscovered species of octopus with the head of a shark. It maybe it can be explained away as the ocean being so big and we have yet to discover all the creatures that call it home. Regardless, it seems that fishermen in the area take the possibility of the Lusca's existence very seriously and they try to be very quiet and not make a sound as they pass blue holes. The big question is whether the Timor Sea ground shark, the black demon shark, and the Lusca exist. Whether the stories that witnesses tell are true, or if they saw a creature that does exist and in the heat of the moment, and they thought they saw something bigger and more fantastical than what was really in front of them. Maybe they're all tales that fishermen tell each other. Or maybe they are real creatures that exist, and one day we'll have proper evidence and analysis of what they are and all these stories will be legitimized. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it interesting. If you did find it interesting, please make sure you subscribe. We'll have a new video about the paranormal every week. If you just discovered this channel, please make sure you check out our other channel, Criminally Listed. We have over 325 videos featuring bizarre but true crime stories. You can find it at youtube.com slash listed. We also have a podcast about cold cases that were eventually solved called Criminally Listed Presents Into the Killing. 
You can find it on Stitcher, Spotify, Amazon Music, and anywhere you find great podcasts. But that's all for today. Thanks again for watching.